Last thing NFL, um, as the draft is over, as we all know, who are some, I mean, I guess one or two, I don't want to like boggle this down. NFL coach that you guys would think are on the hot seat entering this NFL season. I can go first. Right. Um, I'll give you two. I'll give you one actually. Um, even though he's an exceptional coach, in my opinion, I think Frank Wright of the Indianapolis Colts is definitely on the hot seat. He uh he convinced management to bring in Carson Wentz and it didn't work. Um, they missed the playoffs. So they have Matt Ryan, have a capable quarterback, in my opinion, who still have a lot left to prove. Jonathan Taylor, an elite offensive line still. That defense still is great with Darius Leonard and DeForest Buckner. So I think the Colts must make the postseason. And I think even win the game, secure Frank Wright's job. Um, I think he's still, like I say, he's still an exceptional coach, but sometimes circumstances happen and you, you try to leave your neck out with somebody and they leave you dry. So Frank Wright is my coach that's on the hot seat entering this season. Uh, Brandon, look like you're ready. Uh, Matt Rule. Uh, he got to get Carolina going, uh, find a way to win up there because he was just a college coach. And I'm pretty sure they look at him on the hot seat trying to get that organization in the right direction and it's not looking good right now. So I feel like Matt Rule on the hot seat because he's just got to turn around for them. Even though they have been having injuries with CMC, he got to be better this year. Uh, and then they got to work out that QB situation because that's what they really need. They feel like Matt Corral the guy, but – they still got Sam, Darnold. Like, so they got to pick. They got to choose. All right. Uh, cut. Cut. Coach on the high seat, Cliff Clinsbury. Uh, uh, he just got uh, resigned. Did you know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. no, 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 Cat. I was in class. When I saw that notification come through, I said, why? Yeah, he was mine. Him and Stefanski were mine. I was going to say. Oh, wait, he could have got that resigned is because Kyla asked for it. Kyle, I'm like, I don't want nobody else. I want him. They resigned him and the GM instead of giving Kyler a contract extension to send a message. In. Mm-hmm. He did re and he did like turn them around because he's only been. And he did three. make the yeah, and he did make the postseason even though they played bad that game. But continue, cut. Continue. I, I, I agree too. I, I didn't just say it. I'm not really high on him, but maybe that's just me. I'm not hating on him. It's just I'm not high on him. Uh, it's a tough division. Yeah, but and, they always honestly, like. I think, I think Pete Carroll should kind of go call it quits, too. But. Man, Pete not going nowhere. Man. I was going to say, but you know. <laughs> I was wondering, but you know they ain't going to do that. But it's like, <laughs> what's left before him? Like They running Pete's system, bro. They done got what he wanted. Like, <laughs> yep, they let Russ go because they're going to run the ball all game. Yeah. Good luck. Uh, Trey, you said. On, uh, oh, my you. bad, my bad. Good luck. <laughs> Yeah. Trey, you said uh, Stefanski. I'm just curious. He won NFL Coach of the Year last season. Why would he be on the hot seat? <laughs> because if this – I would say the hot seat, not necessarily like, oh, if they underperform this year, he's gone next year. But what? Deshaun has all that guarantee money, say, three, four. He has a limited window to turn the Deshaun Watson acquisition into, like – um um. Um, an investment that like re- that returned something, in my opinion, with Stefanski, because you had the Browns since like 2019 have had all the talent. You cannot have a Miles Garrett, Denzel Ward, Odell, Jarvis Landry, Austin Hooper, who comes from like uh, okay, Matt Ryan is whatever, but he's a good blocking quarterback. And then he, you have Baker, and you don't do nothing. So it's like he kind of got a reset. He still has a core. I just think he has a very, like, I think he has, how if Deshaun's contract's four years, and in my opinion, I think he has two, three years to at least make a little noise that they're going to start looking at him like, oh, no, nah, this might work. But mine was Kingsbury because what um, Derek was saying, I haven't, the Cardinals will always, they'll be like 4-0, 5-0. Then all they of a go sudden, down. They're, but, like, go down fighting for their lives to make the playoffs. So, I mean, I know it'll be, like, untimely injuries because, like, last year Kyler did get hurt for a stint. Hopkins did get hurt. But, I mean, that's part of the game. Um, other than that, it's, it's low-key a lot of young coaches and new coaches. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like ten first-year coaches this year, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, it's looking like a lot of job security. I would hate for the Texans. <laughs> I would hate for Lovey Smith to go out there for one year. They I mean, just I, they just did the David Cully last year. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and then 
they got, I mean, they got the best, in my opinion, one of the best athletes, the best corner in the draft. So it's like, okay, shit, they made the met, they made the best pick, but it's like that's a work in progress because you still do not have a quarterback. You still yeah. do not have a QB one. So I would really hate to see Lovey Smith <laughs> come in, do a solid draft with what he had, and then bounce. But Lovey Smith, I know they're looking at him. <laughs> All right, last but not least, uh, Jay, so you got coach on the hot seat entering the season. Uh, I got two. Uh, All right. I got Pete Carroll. Um, honestly, I think he should be gone uh, after last year. But um, – they win, like, year, seven games or something? Six games? Seven? It, was something, uh, it was six or seven. But I feel like this year he should be more on the hot seat because they didn't get a quarterback. They didn't take – they got Drew Locke, I understand. And they Ooh. got G no whoa trash. He's so <laughs> like I said, they didn't get a quarterback. <laughs> so unless they they might give him another shot next year with the with the you know a little bit more talented quarterback class next year. Did they get picks for Brett for um Russ? Yeah, like did they, they got the Broncos pick yeah. first and second of yeah. Broncos pick? Yeah. Who did they, they get? Cool. Who did they get? I forgot who they got. Oh, they drafted a Charles Cross offensive tackle. tackle yeah, that's a good pick. Oh, they got the they only got picks for this year for us only this year. This year and next year. So they got a first round. They got the cut. They got Brees Hall, Charles. They got Ke- uh, Brees Hall, Ken Walker. The no, they got Ke- Ken Walker from Michigan State. Oh, Kenny Walker, my bad. Yeah. They got Kenny Walker the third. My bad, my bad. Yeah. So they got a corner and a lineman. That's a running back, and they got Boye Mayfield, outside side linebacker from Minnesota. Wait, who and who's the running back again? Uh, Ken Walker. Ken Walker from, oh, Ken Walker. Okay. Record, uh, was it yardage? Or touch, I think it was yardage. I agree, Jake. Well, I, I think they're going to get next year. Like the yeah, if, if if he don't get right next year, I still think he's on the hot seat this year. But if next year, like, they, you know, they draft a quarterback, I don't think Drew Locke's the answer. But they might draft a quarterback, and if he can't get it done like that, then I feel like it's about time for Pete to give it up. And then my second coach, which is – I'm, uh, uh, the word of the day is objective. Um, okay. Dennis Allen. I feel like Dennis Allen's on the hot seat after, you know, taking over for Sean Payton. He um, didn't coach a game yet. Exactly. And, you, <laughs> bro, New Orleans is a hard place to coach. We all know that. New Orleans is – if, if if we go 3-11 and 11, – no, not 3-11, but 3-14. and um, 14. 14. We go 3-14, and 14, death we threat. Lose, we go anything less than what we went last year, I'm going to have a problem. That be, <laughs> I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have even more problems. <laughs> You'll get death threats from folks. Like, well, what if I told you Kamara may be suspended for what happened in Vegas? James the whole is season. Off the, James is coming off an injury. Um, a new uh, Sean Payton is not there. There's no, you know, listen, same listen, thing. You know, listen, what if I told listen. you that? Excuses. Still on the hot seat, regardless. But I get. I feel like we should give him the benefit of the doubt. On the offensive side, if that defense ain't stellar, I'm sorry, it's a problem. Because <laughs> you got all it's names, I agree. Too many it's a problem. Because it's too many. We That's we savage. on paper, on paper, we have one of the best defenses in the league, if not the best. So I agree. I feel like we should be. If we're not top five in defense, it's a problem. Well, he is the head coach. You have to oversee all aspects. You know. Yeah, yeah, but he's a defensive minded coach. Yeah, I agree. But I'm saying sometimes you have to take his focus off the defense to see what the offense is doing. I feel that. I Who's feel that. RB2? Do y'all still have Latavius? Mark, uh, Mark, Mark Ingram and um, – Mark Ingram is coming back this year. Mark Ingram, Tony Jones, and David Washington. Yeah, we got the undrafted – uh, Yeah, and we got the undrafted uh, dude from Bama. I mean, Baylor. All, them, Baylor. all five of them not making the team, so I can tell you that now. So, so who's going to be the pass threat? Who's a pass threat running back? Mark. 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 Y'all just say he might Mark. be suspended. I'm talking about he may, he he may be suspended. He might oh, be. it's not like confirmed. You know, it's not definite. He's still yeah, like, he's, he's still out there training. So yeah. yeah Mark could catch though. Yeah. And no, I play. think they go um I think we still got options in the free agency for like a pass catcher running back. But Deontay here, they put him in the backfield. Sony Michelle visited the Saints this past week as well. Yeah, yeah, he visited, yeah. I've been called. I, this is kind of not really off talk. It's still in the NFL. But how do y'all feel about not getting a tight end in the draft? I think Taysom could be a good tight end. I do so like Sony. Tony one. 
They're going to use Taysom and Trotman, unfortunately. And Trotman, Angela. Yeah, that's what I, I just don't like the Trotman. I think I had an H, like a Hoshman. A, a Hosh. I had him Trotman. Trotman. Yeah, Trotman. yeah. But I think I think Taysom could be a good tight end. I think he could, like, really good tight end. Can he block? He can uh-huh. still put him – you can still take him out, out the tight end and put somebody else there and make him be, like, a, a direct snap type of guy. Or like still, a fullback. But he'll never be a quarter. He cannot throw the ball. Never. He nah. never needs to throw the ball. Yeah, that pipe dream, that's over with. That's over. 